This is Film Masters. On this episode, we're doing Megatron's voice from Transformers. It's going to sound like this. I am Megatron. Give me the cue, boy. So as you can hear, it's pretty close to the actual original from the film. I'm going to be showing you how to do it in Adobe's audition. Let's jump straight into the tutorial. Okay, so we're in Adobe Auditions now, and we're gonna be doing Megatron's voice. Now, before we get any further into it, we need to do some practicing. Now, Hugo Weaving did the voiceover in the Transformers franchise. So one thing we need to do is really put on his voice when we're doing it. Now, one thing Hugo Weaving did when he was playing Megatron in his voice, he put a really husky, almost like a vibration in the back of his throat. And the way he does that, it's almost like his tongue isn't moving at the back. One thing is I always say, listen to the movies, listen to the character you're trying to replicate and try and get it as close as possible. So for example, when you do Megatron's voice, it should have a bit of a uh, sort of almost like a, an animalistic grumble in it when you're doing it. For example, give me the cube. So it's like a, oh, almost like a, a gorilla -y, like an animal growl coming out. So that's one thing we're gonna focus on when we're doing it. So let's get into the tutorial. We're gonna start the waveform. I'm gonna call this Megatron. And select okay. And here we've got it here. Now, one thing we're gonna do when we do the recording, first of all, I'm gonna say, I am Megatron. And then I'm gonna pause it. And then I'm gonna get ready. And then I'm gonna re-record and do the next part, which is give me the cube boy. So we'll see that and see how that sounds like. So first of all, I'm going to do the recording. I am Megatron. So I've just paused the video and I'm going to get ready to do the next part. Give me the cube, boy. And really push that out with my voice. So let's try that. Give me the cube, boy. Okay, so let's listen in and hear what that sounds like. Before we do, I'm just going to trim it. So I'm just going to grab the front part and press delete to delete it. And I'm going to delete some of this space in here as well, just so it quickens up what we're recording. And I'm going to press play now. I am Megatron. Give me the cue, boy. Excellent. So we've got the grumble, that animal sound in our voice that we're after for Megatron. Now we're going to just make some, a little bit of tweaking. So we're going to, first of all, lower his voice just a little bit. And that's because it's based on my voice. I want to give it a bit of a, more of a deeper sound. Now, if you want to do that, for example, let's say, for example, your voice is a little bit higher pitched than mine, then you might need to bump the sound down a little bit more. It might be just about playing around with the two plugins that we're going to be using. So let's go up to effects now and we're going to go down to time and pitch and stretch and pitch. And we're going to come up to the presets and I'm going to bring it down to lower pitch and then we're going to make some adjustments here and in the pitch shift. So first of all, I'm going to make sure the green arrow is lit so that way it will keep on toggling the loop. So it'll keep on playing it so we can make those finer adjustments. So first of all, I'm going to drop the stretch to 90%. And then we're gonna look at the pitch shift and make those adjustments. Now, these are the two that you'll need to make adjustments on if your voice isn't as deep as mine. So let's do that now. So I'm gonna start off with the stretch first of all. I am Megatron. Give me the cue, boy. So I've just changed that to 90%. I am Megatron. And we're gonna make this negative two. Give me two. the cue, boy. I am Megatron. Give me the cue, boy. Excellent. I'm really happy with that. Let's select OK. And we'll move on to the next effect. So it's just going to apply the stretch and pitch to the waveform. So if I play that, this is what it should sound like. I am Megatron. Give me the cue, boy. It's got a really nice vibration in there. Let's uh, just... I just want to cut this down a little bit. So I'm going to cut out some of that timing. So that way it quickens up that very first bit where he says, I am, and then Megatron. Okay, so the next effect we need to go to is we're going to go up to effects, and then we're going to go down to delay and echo, and we're going to select analog delay. Now, what's interesting about this preset is we're going to go down to robot voice, and we're going to make some adjustments here. I'll just play this without any adjustments, first of all, so you can hear what it sounds like. I am Megatron. 
So as you can hear, it's way too vibrating. It's got too much distortion going on. So we're gonna make some adjustments here. So let's go out to the dry out first of all. I'm gonna change it to 40%. And then I'm gonna to come to wet out. I'm gonna bump it all the way up to 100%. And then with the delay, I'm gonna bring it all the way down to 10, which is at the very lower end of the scale. And then with the feedback, I'm just gonna change that to 30. And then with the trash, I'm gonna change that to 90. And then with the spread, let's uh, make that 23. I'm just gonna press play now and hear what that sounds like. Give me the cue, boy. I am Megatron. Give me the cue, boy. I am Megatron. Give me the cue, boy. Okay, so let's just play around a little bit more and just see what it sounds like, just so we can get it a little bit closer. So I'm gonna press play and just make some finer adjustments now. I am Megatron. Give me the cue, boy. 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 Okay, so I've made some finer adjustments. So starting off with the adjustments I first gave you is going to allow you to start off with your own voice and then make those finer adjustments. So again, whenever you do a voiceover, my voice is different to yours. Um, as well as my voice is gonna be different to Hugo Weaving's. So whenever we do the adjustments, we'll start off with the adjustments I first gave you and then play it and make some finer tweaks until you're happy with the end result. When you're happy with it, as I am, I'm gonna press apply. Now this is what the end result for our Megatron voice should sound like. I am Megatron. Give me the cue, boy. Okay, so let's listen in and see what our comparison is to the movie, to Megatron's voice, played by Hugo Weaving in the Transformers franchise. Give me the old spark and you may live to be my pet. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, so unwise. I am Megatron. Give me the cue, boy. So now that we've done that, the only thing we have left to do is to go up to File, Save As, and then save it as whatever particular sound file you'd like to save it as. I'm gonna save it as a waveform. I'm gonna find a location to put it. I'm just gonna use the drop down and select Desktop. I'm just gonna leave everything else the same. You can make adjustments here if you wanna change the format to say MP3, but I'm gonna leave it as a waveform. When you're happy with it, select OK. And that will then render out our file to the compression and format that we want it to. And that is how you do Megatron's voice from the Transformers franchise. If you want to become a Film Master subby, it's pretty simple. Subscribe to the channel. You can like us on Facebook and or on Twitter. Make sure you give us a thumbs up on the video if you like it or a thumbs down, depending on which way you feel about it. All feedback is good feedback. And until next time, don't just film it, master it.